This segment is sponsored by GBMC Healthcare. Well, the incidence of diabetes is rising in the United States. Many people are either unaware that they have the disease or they don't manage it properly. So joining us to discuss diabetes is Dr. Ruth Horowitz, Chief of the Division of Endocrinology and Metabolism at GBMC Healthcare. All right, Dr. Horowitz, so tell our viewers, what is diabetes and how does someone know if they're at risk? So diabetes is a condition where your body does not dispose of glucose properly. Uh, that glucose then builds up in your bloodstream and can cause damage to various organs. We see damage to small vessels that are seen in the eye, the kidney, the nerves, and then as the disease progresses, damage to the larger vessels that can lead to your increased risk of stroke um, and heart attack. Um, the people who are at risk are people who have a family history of diabetes, uh, women who had had a history of gestational diabetes, okay. um, people who are overweight. Okay, so we hear a lot about pre-diabetes, right? Is there any way to slow or reverse the onset of pre-diabetes or ways to control or prevent diabetes itself? Absolutely. So the, the hallmark of the first line of therapy is diet and exercise. Okay. So eating um, a balanced diet, limiting carbohydrate, increasing protein and complex carbohydrates in the form of vegetables and other healthy, healthy carbohydrates, exercise. Exercise is key. 30 minutes of aerobic exercise five days a week is at a minimum of what people can do. And modest weight loss, even a 5% weight loss can reverse uh, hyperglycemia. Okay. So. Wow. Just that little bit. Okay. So aside from type one and type two diabetes, and of course, gestational, are there any other kinds of diabetes that are just as important to recognize? Um, the other form of what we tend to see is steroid induced people who did not have previous diabetes who are mm -hmm. putting put on steroids can have a significant spike in their glucose. Also post-surgical patients who've had Abdominal surgery that involves the pancreas can uh, develop diabetes at that point. Okay, and so among all the health symptoms and difficulties of COVID-19, another question is coming out now is, does the virus, could it be triggering an increased case of diabetes? Absolutely. We are seeing um, significant hyperglycemia related to the infection, infection itself. Wow. And then the treatment for uh, COVID patients in, in the hospital is often uh, high doses of steroids. Mm -hmm. And that can provoke uh, significant and severe hyperglycemia in patients that didn't have problems before, people who were controlled with their diabetes prior to developing the infection. Okay, and so do different kinds of diabetes respond differently to COVID-19? And does getting the vaccine or a flu shot affect people's blood sugar levels? Um, so I'm gonna take the second part first. So getting okay. the vaccine, um, if you have an acute reaction to the vaccine, I have seen some patients whose glucose is temporarily spike up a bit, just like any other infection or inflammation can cause your blood sugars to go up. Um, the other question was, um, do different types there, of diabetes respond differently to COVID-19? Um, not necessarily. I mean, okay. you can see hyperglycemia in both type one and type two diabetics. We have seen an increased incidence of patients with type two diabetes who develop COVID developing diabetic ketoacidosis, which is usually seen uh, prominently in type one diabetics who are very ill, but we're seeing this also in type two diabetics, which is very unusual. And then type one diabetics can also develop DKA in response to the severe hyperglycemia. So um, there is a slight difference and and we are seeing worsening of diabetes control acutely in both groups okay wow such great information the information where our viewers can find you right there available on our screen thank you so much for your time i appreciate thank it. you very much